ducks and the crows they take the corn and the chickens and the geese keep the nest they swarm and up on the farm with watchful eyes the hogs and the pigs will supervise on the animal farm people are cruel and they just don't care and everyone works and everyone shares on the animal farm This is my father's farm. He has goats and sheep. He started out only does 18 livestock. But because my father is a very good farmer and he knows how to feed the livestock and looks after them, his sheep multiply four times in a very short time. Look, we now have 180 livestock. This means they have multiplied 10 times in a short period. Hey, big boy. You have forgotten your head again. Hi viewers, little Charlie is right. You know good grazing and water make our sheep multiply here on the farm. What were you saying 10 times 18 was again Charlie? 10 times 18 is 180. That's right. And when it gets time to divide the sheep, I'm sure your father will remember his keen farming assistant. I want half of them. Well. That can only happen if the livestock are divided between only two people. Anyway, you should by now be able to do much more complex multiplication and division problems than that, right? Viewers, it is good to have your company. Today in program 1 in our brand new mathematic video series for grade 6 learners, we look at basic mathematical operations and specifically multiplication and division with large numbers. After watching this lesson, you should be able to multiply up to a four digit number by a two digit number with answers less than or equal to 100,000 and divide a five digit number by a two digit number. Welcome and enjoy the program. Only all our losses in life were so temporarily and harmless. Well, let's look at some ways in which we can multiply and divide our things. We know that if we buy three packets of apples, and there are six apples in each packet, how many apples will you have together? That's so easy ma'am. Three multiplied by six, there will be 18 apples all together. Well done! But it gets harder when the numbers get bigger, remember? Well, as these boys obviously know quite well, multiplication is repeated addition. The symbol we use for multiplication in mathematics is a small cross. For example, when we say 7 multiplied by 2 equals 14, we write it as follows. 7 times 2 equals 14. It is shorter to say 7 times rather than 
7 multiplied by all the time. So we can simply read 7 times 2 is 14. Okay, so let's look at large numbers. To multiply a large number with another number, we write the numbers vertically. Let's take an example. 2 times 6 equals 12. With in brackets, 6 plus 6 equals 12. In mathematics, it is important to write down the equations as seeing them in writing helps us to understand better. Alright, looking at the equation 2 times 6 equals 12 with in brackets 6 plus 6 equals 12, we now have to find a common multiplier to simplify the equation. Mm, 3 looks like such a multiplier. We can now write the equation as follows. We know that 2 times 6 is 12, which can be written also as 4 times 3, in order to get a 3 on the left-hand side of the equation. Are you still with me? Okay. Let's look the right-hand side. We have 6 plus 6 equals 12 in brackets, which we know can also be written as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12, as you see on the screen. Before we go to a bigger number to multiply, let's talk about some terms used in multiplication. Let's say we have a number like 6245. That's really a big number, right? Now, this number consists of four digits. There are four numbers in this amount. So regardless of what the number is in total, if it takes up four spaces, the ones, the tens and hundreds and the thousands, four places in total. It is a four-digit number. The next term that we should know in multiplication is that we call the biggest number of the two in the multiplication problem, the multiplier factor. The smaller number that we are multiplying it with is known as the multiplicand. And the answer is the product. A product is the result of the multiplication of two or more numbers. So in the multiplication problem where we are looking for the product of 6245 multiplied by 15, then 6245 is the multiplier factor. Write the multiplicand factor 15 in a vertical column underneath it. And the product or the answer we get is written in vertical columns underneath the earlier numbers. My head hurts. Mathematics is so hard. Many people think math is hard, but many people also love mathematics because it can be a lot of fun. Here is a math joke for you. What did one math book say to the other? <laughs> what did it say? It said, don't bother me. I've got my own problems. <laughs> uh -huh, that's a nice one. Have you got another one? Yes, I do. Okay, here. If there were a thousand sheep and six of them jump over the fence, how many would be left? None moves. This looks like an interesting discussion. May I join you? Yes, you may have a seat. None? Young men, you don't know your maths. Most you don't know your seat. When one goes, they all go. <laughs> okay, let's say I had five coconuts and I gave you three. How many would I have left? I don't know, miss. We don't have coconuts. In our school, we do all our maths only with apples and oranges. You boys are too clever. Last one. If I had seven oranges in one hand and eight oranges in the other, what would I have? 
Very big hand. <laughs> I guess you are right. But now, since we are multiplying, what if you have got ten dollars from ten different people? What would you have? A new buy. <laughs> Lenus, you are very clever. And you should not be afraid of mathematics. There are really just a few rules with regard to multiplication. And once you know them, you will find math as easy as pi. Let's look at the rule of multiplying with large numbers. Firstly, let's say the multiplicand is a one-digit number as in this problem. Calculate 765 times 9. With this problem, we write a smaller number 9 under the larger number 765 and then calculate the multiplication. Multiply the single digit number with the bigger number in the first row, starting with the digit in on the right. 9 times 5 is 45 and we write the 5 underneath the 5 and 9 in the same vertical column. Add a small 4 over with the 6 to remember it. Okay? Now, 9 times 6 is 54. Plus that small 4 gives 58. So we write the 8 underneath the 6 in the second column from the right, while the 5 is written with the 7 in the top row of numbers to remember to edit later. Okay. So 9 times 7 is 63, plus the 5 gives 68. Again, we write down the 8 first, and since there are no more numbers in the first row to multiply 9 with, the 6 is simply written on the right-hand side of 8. The answer is 6,885. Now, let's calculate multiplication of a 4-digit number by a 2-digit number. I am sure you are ready for it now. Let's multiply the number 9538 by the two digit number 70. Again, we write the biggest number in the first row with a multiplier 70 placed vertically in columns underneath the first two columns from the right. Multiplying 9538 by 70 is quicker than multiplying 70 by 9538 because 70 contains a zero which makes it easier. Immediately we can place a zero in the units column on the right because we know that zero times all of the numbers in the first row will still yield zero. Now we work with the second number in the multiplicand, namely 7. And again, we multiply with the numbers from right to left in the first row. So 7 times 8 is 56. We place the 6 in the second digit position and carry over the 5 to the second digit position, the tens to add later. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus the 5 we carried over gives 26. We place the 6 in the third digit position under the hundreds where it belongs. And remember to carry over the 2 again to the 5 in the first row. Now we multiply 7 by 5 and get 35 plus the 2 we carried over. So the 7 goes to the fourth digit position under the thousands. And yes, it was 37, so the 3 goes up to the 9 to add up later. 7 times 9 is 63 plus 3, and the 66 is written in the columns from right to left in the last row. We see the answer is 667,660. Oh yes, I know what you are thinking. You are saying you made it easy for yourself with the 70. You did nothing but put a zero as the first calculation. So that's why we will do one last example of multiplying with four digits. 
using a two digit multiplier which is not zero. Have a look. We will calculate multiplying 8769 by 68. We begin by placing the 68 under columns vertically below the bigger number 1769. As before, we now start with 8 times 9, then 6, then 7 and 1, always adding up the numbers we carried over. So 8 times 9 is 72, with the 2 going to the far right position under the other 1's column and 7 being carried over to the 10's to add to 6 later. Then 8 times 6 is 48, plus 7 is 55. 5 in the tens position and 5 carried to the hundreds on top. 8 times 7 then is 56, plus 5 is 61. 6 is carried over. 8 times 1 is 8, plus the 6 carried over is 14, which is written as such. Now all we have done was to multiply 1000 769 by 8 so far. Let's continue. The next thing we have to do is to multiply the same big number by 60. Yes, not 6 but 60. The 6 stands in the tens position, doesn't it? Okay. We have already multiplied by the number which occupies the ones. So we can place a zero in the far right position. This means we really multiply only by 60 now. We have dealt with the zero of the 60. Now we continue. 6 times 9 is 54. With the 4 being written in the second column with the tens and the 5 carried over to the 6 above to add up later. Similarly, 6 times 6 is 36, plus the 5 which gives us 41. We write down 1 in the third position, under the hundreds, and 4 goes up to 8 later to 7. Ok so far? Now, 6 times 7 is 42, write down the 2 and the 4 goes added to 1 in the top row. Lastly, we say 6 times 1 is 6, plus the 4, and we get 10. This means that 1769 multiplied by 60 is 106,140. The rest of the problem is no problem at all. We simply add up these two numbers. Remember not to confuse the columns. So 14,152 plus 106,140 gives a total of 120,292. So man, is division also easy like you have shown us about multiplication? Even easier, Charlie. If you have six apples and share them equally amongst three, how many apples will each person get? Two apples, miss. You are right, Charlie. <laughs> but I'm sure you are going to show us how to divide with much larger numbers. Just like we have learned at the beginning of the program that multiplication is repeated addition, division is repeated subtraction. For example, 12 divided by 6 is 2. This means that we can deduct or subtract or take away 6 from 12 two times. Then we will be left with nothing. Let's try that again. 12 divided by 4 is 3. We can also say that we can subtract 4 3 times from 12. The number that we subtract from the biggest number every time is known as the divisor. We can also say that division undoes multiplication 
and involves a number called the dividend being divided by another number called the divisor. The biggest number in the other word is the dividend and the number it is divided by is the divisor. By the way, have you noticed? The symbol used for division is this one. And division and multiplication can be used to test and confirm one another like this. We know that 9 times 8 is 72. This means that if we divide 72 by 9, it should give 8. And similarly, if we divide 72 by 8, we should get an answer of 9. If 48 divided by 8 is 6, then 8 times 6 should be 48. The second calculation should confirm that the first was correct. Let's do a calculation with a single digit divisor and then a double digit divisor. We will calculate 692 divided by 4. As division is the inverse of multiplication, we start by dividing 4 into the number in the column furthest to the left, the biggest value. Dividing 4 into 6 gives us 1, which we write at the top. 2 remains and we can carry this into the tens column to make 29. Now 29 divided by 4 is 7 with a reminder of 1. Again, the 1 is the 10 which we carry into the units column to make 12. Finally, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Thus 692 divided by 4 is 173. Quite straightforward, isn't it? Now, let's try a double digit number. We want to divide 25,489 by 16. We could do it like this. We simplify the number so that 4 can easily divide into it. And then we have 24,000 plus 1,200 plus 280 plus 9 divided by 16. Now divide 4 into each of these numbers and we get 6000 plus 300 plus 70 plus 2, a reminder 1. Now we divide 4 into these numbers and we get 1500 plus 75 plus 18, a reminder 1. We can also test our answer by multiplying the answer or quotient 1,593 remain 1, which of course we call the dividend, by the divisor which is 16. A calculation of this quickly shows that our answer